To be ready for school, children need to be able to speak well, listen, be able to play with their friends and do basic things like going to the toilet properly and getting themselves dressed. We are doing well for this in Coventry. But there are differences across the city. Children from poorer backgrounds in Coventry don't do as well as children from better off families in their development, but fortunately this difference isn't as bad in Coventry as it is in the rest of England. Our goal is to see between 550 to 790 more children achieving a good level of development at the end of their first year at school in Coventry. This would put us at a par with the leading local authority. We are determined to see all children aged 3 to 4 take up their free early education in the city. Our ambition is to ensure all children and their families are ready for school. I am 33 years old and I have been to the UK nearly six years. I got married and I have two children. Uh, the girl, the first one is a girl and Athena is uh, nearly seven years. And my son is uh, Mateen and is 11 months. And I come from Iran. Okay, when um, we came, as I said, when we came here, my daughter was about 10 months here. And we didn't have any problem because my, my daughter with me at home. Sometimes I go to the children's city. It was perfect for me. It was a good help for me because my daughter goes to and play with the other children. But when um, she went to the school, I was very concerned because uh, the English wasn't uh, her first language. So I just I was very worried about this one. I really like to be successful as she do now. I am sure that Athena um, be a good girl and successful girl. Um, Mia starts school in September. She's also made lots and lots of friends and I hope that she's able to kind of make more friends and I hope that she enjoys it. I, I hope that she enjoys school, um, that she kind of achieves everything that she wants to achieve um, and for me that, that's all I can ask really. This is Limerick Wood Centre, this is our base, um, hopefully to be a hub for children uh, birth to four with special educational needs, children who are diagnosed with a condition or who aren't meeting their developmental targets. That is what we're about really, the aspiration is that all children can have some mainstream experience, even the children with the most complex needs. There are very few children who, because of their medical needs, can't access mainstream provision. You know, some parents are worried that their child's going to be bullied or that they're not going to cope, so we work with parents to support them to build their confidence up, that their children can access the things that are happening in mainstream nurseries and give the children those those skills that they need to do the best they can when they go into school. 